Devontae Freeman was just signed by the Baltimore Ravens to their practice squad. Should he be on your fantasy football roster? I make new content like this every single day, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And he should, depending on the league size. So if you're in like a smaller league, like an A-team league, you probably have really good depth and you don't need to add them to your roster. Even like a 10-team leagues, usually those rosters are pretty solid. Now when you get to like 12-team leagues, if you have that end of the spot, like a revolving door um, spot on your roster where you're just kind of churning guys in and out, I would probably add them there, especially if you missed out on Tyson Williams and Le'Veon Bell. I would then add Devontae Freeman. Now if you have Le'Veon Bell or Tyson Williams, then no, I would not add him. But if you missed out on those guys, go ahead and add him because we've already seen him with this backfield, unfortunately. This is now three running backs before the season starts with season-ending injuries. This is really unfortunate. Tyson Williams will definitely get the first crack at this backfield, and if he doesn't do well, doesn't perform, well, Le'Veon's going to be a big part of this offense going forward, and I imagine Devontae Freeman will probably have a role as well. Now, if Tyson Williams looks good, Le'Veon Bell will definitely play second fiddle there, and Devontae Freeman will have a small role. But I would still add him to my roster, especially in deeper leagues, and see how the first see how the first week plays out and then go from there. And then you can kind of keep churning the roster with new guys, but he should probably be on your fantasy teams in deeper leagues, like 12 team plus. So with that being said, if you enjoy this content, make sure you hit that like or subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.